Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, the early beta version, where I think it's gonna be Capy Bear a day! Capy Bear a day! Oh my gosh, look, there's even a countdown for Capy Bear! Okay, I am extremely excited about that. Can I go ahead and get some little paths? Put down here, oh, oh dear, oh dear, I got rid of the paths. Oh, 17 minutes until Capy Bear. Oh my gosh, these people don't even know. We're gonna have Kippy Berry in a second now. Four minutes, three minutes, two minutes. It's coming, you guys, it's coming. Inbound, Kippy Berry, any minute now. There's the little helicopter. Oh my gosh, why is this game so freaking precious? I cannot wait for it to come out. This is so much fun and we're only in like the early beta version. I wonder what we're gonna have little Piku babies. Like, it, are the different animals more difficult to go ahead and breed? We're gonna find out. <gasps> It's our capybara! They have arrived, friends! Okay, let's go ahead and we're actually going to put in a water trough for them immediately so that they can make sure that they have plenty of water. And then we already have our keeper assigned to take care of these capybara. So we have Booster, a male capybara, who seems to be doing pretty well. He probably could use more like enrichment uh maybe he's full on enrichment actually i guess all a capybara needs in the early beta version to keep happy is uh some grass that sounds about right so we have booster a male capybara and poncho a female capybara i'm really excited to have them with us because hopefully if we manage to breed these guys up then we can actually go ahead all right let me back up a little bit then i think we can go ahead and we can do some trading let me see if I can figure out where the trading was taking us again. We can do, yeah, if we get three Capybara to trade, then we'll be able to go to the Botswana Zoo and trade with them. I really, really, really love that. I love that there's this like interconnectivity in between different zoos. I know that Planet Zoo does that as well because obviously you're even trading with other people in real life who have like the animals they've bred, but this feels a little bit more personalized because you just have this little snippet of like what that zoo might look like, which I think is really cool. And in the Botswana Zoo, hippos are powerful creatures. I've heard from other zoos that if you have proven yourself, I've heard from other zoos that you have proven yourself a mighty enough zookeeper to take care of them. And hence, I will be willing to part with one for some capybara. Okay, so we're breeding capybara so we can try to get some hippos. But also, oh, baby bun bun! From the Toronto Zoo, if we give the Toronto Zoo a baby bun bun, we love horses and they love apples, then we can go ahead and we can get some horses. A horse, of course. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna trade, let's trade Sparky because he's still just an itty bitty little baby, but I think he'll be very happy in the Toronto Zoo. And that gives us two horses. Horses can sleep standing up. Imagine that. Well, here it's so cold, I wouldn't want to lie on the ground. Would you? <laughs> okay, Canadians, let me know if you would lie on the ground. I feel like, I feel like it'd be, well, gosh, a little bit cold. Also, one second, I think I lost my music. What the heck? There we go. Now we've got our music back. Oh, and nature calls. <gasps> I know what that means. I need to go ahead and install some restrooms for our guest. Okay, let me go ahead. Do we have the restrooms yet? I don't think we have gotten the restrooms. What is this? What is this death symbol? Like what on earth are we gonna do with a death symbol in our zoo? I'm a little curious about that. Um, but let's go ahead and I need to actually work on getting some bathrooms in here for all of our guests. So let's go to research. And we're gonna unlock the facility toilet. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock this. Yay! Oh, and you can get a little balloon shop. I absolutely wanna have a little balloon shop, but we do need to get another researcher in here so we can start to get these research points faster. Boom! Nice! And then there's different deco pavement packs we can unlock. Oh, and that's, again, this is all just very early access, like, bare minimum of showing you what the game could be like sort of stuff. So I'm really excited to think about all of the little details we'll be able to put everywhere. All right, let's see if we can hire another staff member. We need to look for uh, like another, another person. We're, we're gonna do that on a job portal so we can try to get somebody good. And we reach about 30 people, 50 people. 
Okay, well, we'll go ahead and do a job portal. Advertising for a new researcher on, whoop. Oh, oh gosh, look, you get end of the week summaries. Heck, they're cute. We have no profit, that's okay. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, maybe we need to start making some money. I probably need to, to be a little bit more reasonable about that. Um, we'll look into that soon. We'll look into that soon. Let's see. We need, we have a hundred, oh, we've had a hundred customers. Speaking of money, let's come get this money from Kathleen. Oh, geez. What the heck is this? Genome donation from a limited time quest. Let's splice the zoo. You have my full attention, ma'am. The Monsanto Company has asked me to donate some of their research to you. We have been mapping genomes of different animals for the last decade, and now with the discovery of CRISPR, it's possible for you to take to create animals by literally editing their DNA. We are donating the blueprints for a CRISPR sli sli splicing facility and a pair of genomes of your choosing. Genomes can be spliced to create hybrids. <gasps> okay, so do we want the rabbit hippo for a tiny big result, or or do we want to pick the rabbit snake to re create reptilian mammals? Oh, geez. That's actually really hard to choose. Oh my gosh. I think we're going to go with tiny big result because I think that sounds amazing. <gasps> what the heck? Look at this. Examples of possible spleens that you can cross. This flamingo deer and this elephant giraffe. Oh, look at the splicer. It looks so cool. Horizon Herald. Local zoo develops animal splicing technology. Many scientists have put their heads together and come up with groundbreaking technology that will achieve the impossible, transferring animal heads and bodies to splice them together. When interviewed, the staff and management were very secretive about the process, but they claimed that there is nothing illegal. Some people are concerned about what this means for the future, as well as the ethical issues that may occur. For others, this is a large step in the direction of science that will hopefully bring the zoo and humanity to greater heights. It is unknown when the zoo intends to build the full capacity and start their venture into animal splicing. What the heck? Okay, illustrated guide of a splice of a rabbit and a snake. Ah! Ah! This is something else. Now we have a new task from Jean. Build the CRISPR splicer. New technology has enabled us to splice animals together as long as we have the genome of that animal. Show the wonders of science to the public and build a, a CRISPR splicer now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, happy to go ahead and do that. Let's grab the CRISPR slicer. It's so pretty. Okay, we're, we're gonna put it back here and we'll surround it with some trees so it's a little less scary. There we go. And we're gonna hire Jeffrey. Look at Jeffrey's full body suit going on there. I like it. So let's give him more money too. So that, I mean, we want him to be hopefully really good at his job. All right, we're going to put down some bricks just so people know, hey, this is like the place to go if you're into the whole gene splicing thing like we're apparently about to be. So we built the splicer. There we go. Ta -da! And now we have a new task of making hybrids. Now we can make hybrids. We should start developing one as soon as we can. Go to the CRISPR slicer and then start making one now. Oh geez. Okay, well first let's go see Kathleen and report in that we've had 100 customers. Yay! And she gave us more money, which we really needed. And now we have a new task, Seed Fund 2. It's great to see our business growing. I need to report to my partner the growth. So your next goal is to reach 200 total customers. Oh my gosh, okay, so 200 total customers. <gasps> and two hours until horsies arrive. Okay, so wow, I mean, I feel like we should be able to get 200 total customers if we end up, oh wait, some animals are not getting enough food? Oh geez, okay, maybe we need to move this so that like the the keeper will be able to reach it a little easier. Ah I really didn't set the zoo up for optimal <laughs> for optimal movement. Um here, we'll put it over here. There we go. And we'll have our little keeper move this way. Maybe I need another keeper. Um storeroom. We have straw. What is this? Food amount. Straw, okay. And then, oh wait, can I change the food amount? Oh, I can, look at this. We've been giving blended pellets to the pigus, but we can actually give them leftovers. <laughs> Zero dollars a day, no, 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 no. We're gonna add, 
Oh, look, and then you can go ahead and improve, like, okay, we'll give them 50% beans. Now they're very overfed. Whoops. Oh, this is cute. So you can go ahead and just kind of add a little bit here and there to what your animals eat. Oh, I like that. Hey, we have Animal Utopia of having, like, multiple types of animals. Holy heck, there's, like, a lot going on right now. Oh, my, my. Okay, uh, no, I don't want... Okay, enclosure, there we go. All right, we'll work with that in just a second, but we've got horses now, you guys. Canadian horses, no less. We have got Skipper and Beamer. Oh, they're so cool. I wonder what can happen if we can genetically splice a horse. The questions that we now must ask ourselves. All right, let's add in a water trough for them where everybody can reach it. There they go. And then we're gonna go ahead and Enrichment for the horse? I don't know if a horse wants a trampoline, but a horse is getting a trampoline and a small ball. And then I don't know if the capybara... Oh, capybara does not... Oh, because I'm trying to put stuff in another enclosure, I see. Okay. And then let's make sure I have my... Yeah, I have my zone set for our keeper. So she's assigned to a whole bunch of zones and should be taking good care of it on it. All right, and we need to hire somebody. One or more of your shops does not have an employee. Hire one. What? I don't have any staff? Wait, what's this? Commission a fake animal? <gasps> Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love this kind of like hilarious little quest. It's all art to me. Commission a fake animal. You have a horse, and I have an artistic eye. You know what a black horse with white stripes... Do you know what a black horse with white stripes looks like? That's right, a zebra. I can get your customers thinking they have a far more exotic animal than you really do. I just love painting. That's what I... That's why I want to do this. That's hilarious. <laughs> Paint your horse to look like a zebra. Scam... Scam animals earn you negative morality points. <gasps> I have morality? I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to go ahead and, and try this out because it sounds really adorable. Oh man, do I want to do this? Yes, you know what, we're gonna do it. Look at this, your choices matter. Oh my gosh. Whoa, look at the difference in like how the world looks here. I wonder if we'll be able to get little farms going. That's adorable. Your choices matter. The morality choices you make will impact the buildings and actions you can use and may be reflected in certain people's behavior. Choose wisely. <gasps> and now I have negative morality in business. Wow. And you can have it in pollution with your employees towards the animals. Oh my goodness. So when am I going to have like a horse be painted? Is it going to be Skipper or Beamer? I want to see. All right, and then we need to hire staff. All right, we have somebody ready to start working for us. Zelma! So we're gonna go ahead and hire Zelma. Welcome, Zelma. We'll go ahead and give you really great, like, everything too, because I'm worried. Okay, employee needed. What kind of staff? Okay, there we go. I think we took care of that. Apparently we need some benches. So we need to build some benches. Gosh, and I know I need to do genetic splicing too. There's just a lot to keep track of. <laughs> so I'm kind of like zipping all over the place. All right, we're gonna put in a couple benches. And maybe, oh look, now one of our horses is painted like a zebra. <gasps> we have started creating scamimals. <gasps> oh look, and now we actually have more baby animals with little Oakley, who's actually a white rabbit. If you guys remember, um, the rabbits have a chance we have all the species info for them now. So the rabbits actually have a chance of producing like 70% chance of having a brown bun bun. And if we had a brown and white bun bun, then their offspring would have a 55% chance of having this color. And if we had two brown bun buns, we'd have like this dark gray and brown bun. Oh, wow. I love how you could get these different bun buns. Look at the lop depending on how you breed them. That is so cool. Okay, very fun. We might have to have multiple bunny exhibits. That might have to be a thing that we start doing. Um, what a boring enclosure. I'm working on it, you people. All right, let's see. So now we have painted our, <laughs> our horse like a zebra, which gave us negative morality. But you know what? I think it really worked out great. 
And we need water and enrichment. I have a pen without enrichment. I, I do too have a pen with enrichment. Like what? All right, well, can do they need more small balls? There we go. Maybe the pigus just needed like more enrichment. And let's see if we can help out the capybara. Add objects, enrichment. And we're gonna give the capybara, oh, a little trampoline too, because I saw the horses using the trampoline. And then we'll give capybara some balls too. There you go, guys. Hopefully that should take care of everything you guys need. Boom. Huh. And maybe that's just a beta thing if it says there's not enough. Alright, anyway, I have been all over the place today and we haven't even looked at the fact that we can create animal hybrids now. <laughs> We have the staff. This poor animal looks so bored. Look, I'm doing my best. We have the staff. And it looks like oh, we have hippopotamus DNA. We have pigu DNA, capybara horse, and rabbit DNA. Oh my gosh. How are we even going to start putting this together? That is so exciting. Okay, so we need to own four hybrid animals and then have 25 animals and buy an animal from the black market. So you know what? Now that I know we need to have that many animals, let's start another little pen for the bunnies. Now that we see that you can breed really specific cool bun buns. Wah! So we'll have another little pen for the bun buns so that we can try to like breed a specific type. And oh, we have a baby capybara. This is not a drill. There is a baby capybara. Oh my gosh. Name Smokey. Oh, oh, I'm so happy right now. All right. Oh my gosh, we have more baby bunnies. <laughs> okay, so we're going to grab Cooper and we're going to move Cooper over here. And then we're going to come over here. No, no, I don't want to get animals. We're going to grab Jojo. So, wait, 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 is Cooper a boy? I think Cooper's a boy. Okay, we're gonna grab Oakley! And we're gonna move Oakley over here. And then I think that means we have a boy and a girl. Sure, they're related, but you know what? We're working on trying to breed specific genetics right now. And I don't have anywhere else I can get a rabbit. Um, and let's go ahead and make sure they're taken care of really quickly. There's our keeper. We're gonna zone her over here too so that she's got plenty of ability to go ahead and feed everyone. Holy canoodle doodles. I love this. I really love this so much, you guys. Phew! And our little pixel zoo is growing! Yay! All right, you guys. Well, we have painted our zebra. <laughs> we have painted our horse to look like a zebra and we are being a little bit like scaminals here. Uh, I kind of absolutely love that. We have a genetic splicer we're gonna start messing with next time. And um, I really am pretty excited about all of the little bits and pieces of these e Easter eggs that we have to find as we delve deeper into Let's Build a Zoo and what it has to offer. So all right, you guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our zebra. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.